An emotional first look trailer for Caroline Flack, her life and death has been released by Channel 4 one year after her tragic passing. In the 40 seconds video, it sees the late Love Island host, who was found dead on February 15, 2020, break down in tears and uns. The heartbreaking first look trailer also sees emotional interviews from Caroline's mother Christine, twin sister Jody and former Rex Factor co-star Caroline Flack. Her life and death will see friends and family of the late presenter pay tribute to her as it documents the rise of her career and tragic passing. In one part of the trailer, the late presenter breaks down in tears and unseen footage as she says, the only person I've ever heard is my father. Another heartbreaking moment sees Carolyn's mother, Christine, emotionally sick. She was my little girl, it doesn't actually seem real. In a different moment during the poignant trailer, the late presenter's former The X Factor co-star Ollie, 36 breaks down in tears. He says, I just wish I could have told her not to do it. I never got the opportunity to do Carolyn's other former The X Factor co-star Dermot O'Leary adds, those demons start to play. Another part sees Carolyn's twin sister Jody recall, she did feel things very, while a different person off camera emotionally adds, all that talent, the joy that she brought, just gone. During the trailer, which also shows unseen footage of Caroline throughout her life, a voiceover says, one year on from her tragic death. We pay tribute to one of Britain's biggest stars, revealing the complex woman behind the TV persona. Her story, told by those who knew her best. Caroline Flack, her life and death will see friends and family of the late presenter pay tribute to her as well as unseen footage of the star. The Channel 4 says that the documentary will explore the complex woman behind the public persona with never-before-seen footage, childhood home videos and into the broadcaster confirmed in November that a documentary looking at Caroline's life was being made. No date has been set for the hour-long documentary which will examine her life and speak to those closest. The documentary has been commissioned by Becky Cadman and Lee McMurray for Channel 4 Factual Entertainment. It is being produced by Curious Films, with BAFTA winner Charlie Russell directing and Dov Friedman as executive. Lee said, We hope this project will be a testament to Caroline's character, work and legacy, and we're deeply grateful to her family and friends for Becky noted, This film is about and for Caroline. A sister, daughter, friend and one of the most successful TV present. They added, a roller coaster life told through the memories of the people who knew her best, Caroline's family and friends, we hope this will be a fitting tribute to Dobbs said, Caroline was a hugely talented star and we hope this film will honor the commitment we made to her, by telling her story frankly and honest. On Monday, Caroline's publicist, Nathan Charles Smith, led the tributes to his best friend along with singer Rita Ora, 30, and presenters Laura Whitmore, 35. Laura Jackson, 34, one year after her tragic Louis Burton, 27, who was in a relationship with the Love Island presenter at the time of her death also shared a snap and wrote, You'll never forget Caroline was found dead on February 15, aged 40, the day after hearing the Crown Prosecution Service would go ahead with a trial for allegedly attacking her model and former tennis player boyfriend Louis in December 29. Back in August, coroner Mary Hassel gave a verdict of suicide, saying, I am entirely satisfied she intended to call. She hanged herself. I find the reason for her taking her life was she now knew she was being prosecuted for certainty, and she knew she would face the media, press, publicity, it would all come down upon her. To me, that's it in essence. It came after her mother, Christine, blasted a senior Met police officer for appealing against the CPS's decision to give her daughter a caution after her arrest despite officers finding her at the crime scene with an injury caused accusing Detective Inspector Lauren Bateman of treating her more harshly due to her celebrity status, Mrs. Flack told the inquest, she, Caroline, cut her arm, to cause serious injury and you were putting an appeal in to get her prosecuted, you never bothered to see her, if it had been, an ordinary person, you wouldn't have prosecuted. I see domestic abuse and I just think you should be disgusted with yourself so there is nothing we can do to bring Caroline back. I hope in hindsight you do regret this. This girl killed herself because you put an appeal through. The appeal referenced an initial decision by prosecutors to issue flack with a caution, before D.I. Bateman, the senior Met officer in charge when the celebrity was taken into custody, applied for a formal charge instead. The final decision would have been made by a senior lawyer. Prior to Mrs. Flack's intervention D.I. Bateman had denied treating the presenter more harshly because she was famous and insisted she wouldn't do anything differently if confronted with a case. She said a caution was not appropriate because Flack did not admit her guilt in a plea. Flack strongly denied assaulting Mr. Burton, and had pleaded not guilty to assault by beating at Highbury Corner Magistrates Court on December 23, 2019. Her sister, Jody, said she tried to take her own life before the first court appearance, and then a further two times before she hanged herself at her London. Flack's family have repeatedly accused
accused the authorities of pursuing a show trial despite being aware of her worsening mental health. The court also heard new details of a note that was found near her body, which read, Please let this court case be dropped and myself and Louis find harmony. The TV star's twin, Jody, who was watching the inquest on a video loop with her mother, Christine, confirmed the note was written in her sister's handwriting. Caroline Flack, her life and death will air soon on Channel 4. If you have been affected by this story, you can call the Samaritans on 116-123 or visit www.samaritans.com.